Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it is midnight 30 and I'm recording a video. As you can tell, my hair is blue now. <laughs> I did upload a hair video showing you me changing my hair a little bit ago, but you know, we here now. And today I'm just gonna do a quick little video for, I hope it's quick, um, of mostly enamel pin haul. There's two things in this order that are not enamel pins. That is my refrigerator. So I'm going to show you those two things in like this kind of setup and then I'm going to do hopefully a different kind of setup for showing off the enamel pins. So yeah. super excited. Here's the bag. So I bought a ton of pins from this piece. It's a Celestial Fox dot CA for Canada. So a business card. So if you want to follow her on her socials, you can. I follow her on her Insta. So I bought how many pins is this? Five? Five pins? One. Two not pins. I almost bought a crap ton more from her, but I decided against it. I'm going to do that maybe next time in a little bit because I did just back a crap ton of enamel pin kickstarters <laughs> whoops um so i'll have another enamel pin haul eventually once i get all those kickstarters in and i will probably order from her again because i really like her stuff and there were definitely a few pins that i wanted that i didn't order just money wise so there's that but that's what i'm super excited about blam oh my gosh it's so cute Okay, hey, what you're seeing is just a black uh, sweatshirt with like pink trim, but oh my gosh, everything is actually embroidered. That's sick. It says, I hate humans on the sleeve here. Just wait till you see the back. It has a little dagger on the sleeve here. Then, blah, blah, blah. Can you see it? Yes. If you guys are fans of Ghibli films, you know Princess Mononoke. I hate humans. I hope this fits. Uh, <laughs> everything is embroidered on here. That is so sick. It's all like, that's wonderful. I'm really hoping it fits me. I'm so scared it's not gonna fit. We'll see. I'm typically a small, but this looks quite small. Let's hope she fits. thing I got is this baby pink one. <laughs> Just, it's a Sailor Moon one, as you can see, it has an embroidery there. But blam! It's plain on the front. This sleeve says, oh, golly gosh. Fight evil on one sleeve. Win love on the other. <laughs> and on the back, Bam! Can you see it? Can you see her? It's great. So it has all the Sailor Scouts on here and everything. I'm so hyped. This one is in a in a 2XL, so this one is much bigger. So this one will for sure fit me. Hella oversized, so I'm excited about that. Oh, and the sleeves will be hella long. Like, hella long, so.
quick side note uh, the reason these aren't like my ideal size is because um, I bought them on clear not clearance on sale they are regularly I think $60 Canadian and I bought them for $42 Canadian would I have preferred this one to be in a small yeah I think so the sleeves are way way too big um, I think it would have probably looked cuter in a small but like the small is a little bit too like tight I guess like the sleeves are good because I thought I was worried about getting the sleeves too small or too short since I'm relatively tall but the sleeves on the small are pretty good but like the rest of it is a little bit too tight I guess for me while this is like whew, I know it's a 2XL but it's just like probably too too big but it is really cozy and cute but man kind of wish it would be a little bit smaller I'm gonna wash these and see if they shrink up a little bit I know it says that they're pre shrunk but I feel like stuff can always usually shrinks a little bit so see just the sleeves are so so long which usually would be a good thing for me but these are a little bit too too long <laughs> and like I'm a small person so like uh, should I have gotten a small probably now I kind of regret it because like I initially had the small in my cart and then I made the order and I'm like oh shoot instead can I change it because I wanted it to be long so I'm just like can I change it to a 2xl so I go yeah sure so she switched it and now I'm like would I rather have had the shorter sweatshirt with appropriate sleeves or this one that's nice and long but the sleeves are potentially, potentially dangerously long like this is gonna get caught on things and like you can't really see the print on the sleeves that well <laughs> just cause where it would be like here's the shoulder seam here's my shoulder you know like if it was like this that would have been perfect if the sleeves weren't so dropped does anyone know how to sew that could help me out and just like shorten the sleeves like a tiny bit otherwise I thought of cutting off like the cuffs of the sleeves to make them at least shorter that way I also thought about crafting it but I think I might cut the, the cuffs off just so it make it a little less long <laughs> like if I cut the cuffs off you could see at least my fingertips I don't know so I think that's what's probably throwing me off the most is how how long the sleeves are or like if anyone knows how to like raise the shoulder seam. Oh, maybe I could just do that. Like tuck it. Sew it like this. That looked weird. That kind of gives me shoulder pad effect. I don't know. We'll see. But that's how this fits. And kind of my reasoning behind my weird sizing choices. Alright. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, I will switch views and show you these pins. All right, y'all, these are the pins I got. Ooh, look how nice. So these two are seconds while the other three are standard. So I got this one because, duh, magical Madoka. Make a fucking contract with me, fucking QB. Um, I got that. I'll take these all out of the plastic, too. I got this, which is like a little RPG sword on her site. She called it like the heartbreaker. This one I got because I'm a gamer. It says get good. And it's, you know, a candy heart that says it. I love that. Then these two are Sailor Moon related. So this is Ouija board. For all you Negaverse babes. <laughs> essentially. Yes, no. Sup, Negaverse. Then this one is the planchette. This one you can definitely tell is a seconds or B grade because there's a little bit of a non-fill right there but really you'd have to look kind of close at it to tell okay or don't but it took me a little bit to see where the issue was on this one so I'm not too bummed out about this little tiny non-fill so I'll take this out these out of the plastic and show it to you again alrighty here they all are again sans plastic Here's the back. I like that all of her 
little pin backings or hearts. That kills me. I'm a ho for hearts. Ho, I'm a ho for hearts, stars, and moons, TBH. So anything with a heart on it, I'm going to want it. It also has two backing. Gosh, man. This one, I'm having a hard time seeing, like, any major, like, flyage. So this one, though, this one definitely just has that one little non-fill, but overall, still a really gorgeous pen. Ooh, I'm getting kind of weird colors. My B. Then get good, motherfucker. I'm not the kind of gamer that does anything, like, competitive. This only has one backing. So, like, I never really say that. I kind of just say that to people that I work with when they mess up. I'm like, get good, son. Yeah, that's it. That is my pin haul. If you have bought anything from Celestial Fox, please let me know down below. If you haven't, what's your favorite thing? Because, okay, screw QB, but also I freaking love this. So, yeah, that's it. I really like that it came in the little... This is a cute touch, even though slightly unnecessary, but I still like, really liked it. And that'll do her, y'all. So I'm gonna end it. What is your favorite? I think I think the QB pen is my favorite. I also really do like the her RPG, early RPG thing going on. I really liked her stuff because magical girl, and it has cute gamer shit, girly gamer shit for all of us that are. <laughs> like girly gamers um yeah that's all i got for you that was my little haul thank you so much for watching i hope this was quick god i really hope it was quick <laughs> if you have any artist suggestions that i should follow on instagram that are like a cute aesthetic please let me know down below i would love that i have been backing a lot of kickstarters lately and i've been following a lot of those artists that i have backed and I really like a lot of their art. <laughs> Everything is super cute. Anywho, just I need suggestions. I love cute shit, man. Like, yo, TBH, I would love this as a tattoo. How freaking cute would that be? Thank you so much for watching. I'll stop rambling. I'll see you all next time. Bye!